Good evening everybody, I'm Pierre Roberge de Daily Trader. It is October 11th and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla is continuing its way down. So we are down $6.46. That's 2.9%, uh, closed at 216.50. Post market, we are up by 8 cents. So let's look at what we have here on the chart. So, uh, red candle, tried to go back up, tried to go back up right here, but uh, was squished down. So, basically, it is following the support. Look at how pretty much perfect it's following the support. If you don't believe in technical analysis, I don't know what to do. This is not random. It's following a simple line. If it was following, you know, a jiggle, I would say, okay, you can say that this jiggle is just random. A line is not random. So now it's following this line, heading down to, heading down to 205. 205, 205 is the next destination. And that will coincide pretty much to when we are going to get the earnings call on October 19th. So this is not this week, this is next week. So uh, we have five or six candles left to have here. And then maybe because of this, things, things will start moving back up. Looking at the one hour chart, uh, same thing. So on the one hour chart, we are looking at it because this is giving us a little bit more precision, a little bit more detail. So one candle on the daily chart equals um, eight candle on the hourly chart. So we just get a little bit more details and we can do just more precise, more precise patterns like this congestion zone, which was very tight. And we had a little bit of a fake here, so it almost, well, it broke below, but closed back up, so it's not count, so it does not count as a breakout. It needs to break below, so breaking below is a breakout. Closing below, I mean, is a breakout, and then it uh, continued right here. All of the indicators on the one hour chart are super, super low, so there's no indication yet that the stock wants to come back up just on the five minute chart you know if we want to get picky on the five minute chart we have this little move up right here but stick is not over 60 yet on that five minute chart so uh, this is not to be believed yet based on the information that we have right now this this should be continuing down so coming back on the daily chart uh, let's look at our indicators Let's look at our indicators. So stochastic at 1.52 per high per low. So yes, at some point uh, things are going to have to slow down because we just had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red candles in a row. Did we have that before? I don't know if we had that before. We had something almost as bad on in May. In May 2022, in May of this year, one, two, three, four, five. We had five and now we are at nine. This is why we cannot say, okay, on average, Tesla goes down by five red candles before a green candle. You can do that, but then you get, you get squished uh, right here. So what is better is to draw a, a resistance line and then you wait until the stock breaks it breaks it. If it drops super fast, it could break it faster. If it if it drops super, super slow, it can break it a little bit later in time because each candle is always equal to a set amount of time. But we should not say on average, there's there are three candles up and five candles down and things like that. It might work, but I don't, you know, I don't believe in that and I don't do that. So everything in terms of the indicators is in the tank. We have RSI that's uh, getting deeper in the oversold zone. <clears throat> so this also having an indicator in the oversold position uh, tells us not much per se. It's not because the indicator 
goes into the oversold position that automatically it's going to come back up. It just means that it's super, super low compared to the recent past. And yes, indeed, it's super low compared to the recent past. Stay tuned for my VIX video where we are going to take a look at the VIX Dow Jones standards and pours 500 and the Nasdaq also. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.